Barbara Brahma was a very great and strong woman. And with her courage, her power of persuasion, with her persistent commitment in the many, many years she was uh, our chairwoman of the Social Democratic Women, she was a great role model for all of us. She was born in Otnang am Hausruck in Upper Austria in 1954. She studied at the Johannes Kepler University in Linz, social studies. And after her studies, she worked for the labor market service of Upper Austria. Social and women's policy was already in an important concern for her when she was a young woman. Barbara's professional career began in the Upper Austrian Parliament when she was member of the Upper Austrian Parliament in her younger years. Throughout her life, she has had deep, a deep connection with her homeland and the people there in Upper Austria and has been active in a numerous local initiative, initiatives. She exercised her political functions with a great commitment and person, personal dedication. In 1997, she was appointed Minister for Women's Affairs and elected Women's Chairperson of the SPÖ, the Social Democratic Party in Austria. From 2006, Barbara Brahma was president of the National Council and she was the first woman elected in that position as a head of the Austrian Parliament. As president, she succeeded in opening up the Parliament and making it a place of encounter. An important project for her was the Demokratiewerkstatt, where workshops for children were held for democracy and about politics. And the earlier political education and interest and uh, engagement begins the better. That was Barbara's opinion throughout her whole political life. She was driven by the conviction that democracy requires active engagement from all of us. For many people in Austria, Barbara Brahma is a huge role model and a person of the heart. Barbara was incredibly versatile. Many associations and initiatives honor her work and merits. She was an ardent anti-fascist and stood up for the rights of minorities. She was an important ally for homosexuals and the LBGTIQ community. She did everything to promote equal rights and openness to everybody. Today, I would like to focus on her women's engagement and women's political work. Women's concern were very important to her. This already began uh, in the Upper Austrian Labour Market Service. She got to know the many everyday problems of women and everyday worries and livelihood problems and helped women to get back into work. She was always open to problems of everybody and especially problems of women and tried to help and do what was possible. As a chairperson of the Linza Women's Shelter, she also helped a lot of women when they had problems with violence against themselves. In 1997, she succeeded in getting Protection Against Violence Act of the ground for which she worked hard together with her predecessors, ministers of for women's affairs, Johanna Donal and Helga Konrad. For the first time, it was possible for the perpetrator of violence and not the victim to have to leave the home, regardless of property or possessions. This gives women the chance to break up and break out of a violence relationship and start a new life. Today, we take this for granted, but in the 1990s, it wasn't all that clear that the perpetrator has to leave his home uh, seemed unthinkable to many and the resistance was great. And what Barbara achieved with this act was a huge achievement for all women in Austria. 
patriarchal thinking is deeply rooted in Austria, still. Until the end of the 70s, the man was the head of the family and women had to ask if they wanted to work, um, they had to ask him for permission. And that was not the case in the 90s. And the act that Barbara um, got through the Austrian parliament was a huge achievement to this situation for women, especially. So. In 1998, the Women's Helpline Against Male Violence was established. It is an official helpline uh, financed by the government. Since then, women from all over Austria can get free and anonymous help in important information there when they are threatened by violence. For Barbara, it has always been important that women have the chance uh, for a good education, for a job and their own income. The, an income they can also live on. She always wanted to promote women, especially younger women. In 1998, during her time as Minister for Women's Affairs, the active promotion of equality between men and women was anchored in our constitution. An important achievement was also the kindergarten billion. At that time, we still had the shilling and not the euro, but uh, new kindergartens were created in all provinces of Austria and a lot more spaces and places for children and their education were built. And this was also a very important act for a lot of women to be independent and to have the chance to get a job. Barbara was also internationally active in several organizations. She was vice president of the Socialists Women uh, International and has supported women's projects in many, many countries of the world. There is a very nice quote, Barbara. Uh, for, uh, there is a very nice quote of Barbara Prama from the uh, 2009 Women's Conference in Linz. The conference at which she handed over her chairwomanship to her successor, Gabriele Heinisch Hosek. Above all our work, there is always the firm conviction. We want to make women's lives better. And I think it's a very nice and a very true quote. Barbara fought for this goal in her entire life until her death. And the SPÖ women were an anchor and an important basis in her life. We are incredibly proud of our honorary chairperson, Barbara Prama. We honor Barbara's achievement for women every year, in January, around her birthday, with the so-called Barbara Prama Symposium, where we push her legacy and work together on a more feminist, progressive future. Together with the FEPS, the Rennes Institute Austria and the Social Democratic Parliamentary Group.